All right, welcome back to AI the Somnium Files. We have three endings left, at least in the main scenario. Music key. Um, as far as I know, at least. And well, is the third one the true ending? Maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> I have to be honest, and I know there's a secret ending. Supposedly there are seven endings. Didn't really read up on it, so... Mm. No... <laughs> More information on that. And... Um, yeah, I really hope we are done now with the exposition. I know. We will probably get a few more theories thrown in there, but I really, really cannot deal with more theories being thrown at me. Being like, here, yeah, this is a fact now. Remember it. Well, actually, you can forget about it since it's not important at all most of the time. It will be referenced sometimes, but most of the time it's just like so unimportant. And mm. I can understand that they want to explain the concept they thought about and um, say, hey, you know, there are these theories that prove that it is a possibility. Um, same happened with the parallel universe theory, which is fine in a way, in itself, but uh, don't force it in me in one go. I would prefer, since they made it a thing this time around, to have done it in trivia form. Give me two or three sentences explaining the theory. If I know, want to know more, you can either add it to the bonus content that there is like the theory um, encyclopedia that you can unlock, which will give you more context on theories. You can read up on them, can read, uh, get further links to texts you can read i don't know but do not put it in like 30 minute sections of the game sometimes even longer just to tell me about theories i don't need to know and most of the time i actually knew already <laughs> it's, ah, it makes me kind of angry all right, let's get started. Boop. Boop. Good, actually. It's been so long. Woo! He's so bright. Why are you so bright? <laughs> what? Hmm, I haven't used you in a while. Well, I'll figure it out in my own time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let's get... Yeah. Don't lag on me. Don't lag on me. Thank you. When he was a kid, he was shy and really timid. Let it be. He is not capable of participating right. in normal conversation. Horadori Institute. I can't go back now. It seems Kizuna knows something about the dark side of Horadori Institute. Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. All right, we're in Hosomnium, aren't we? That's where we left off yesterday. I Magician girl, Iba. Okay. Oh. Feels like I'm watching anime. 
In the name of AI, I will punish you with flogging and flaying. Whoa, 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 that's way over the top. Isn't what that is this Thomas? Eye magician girl's special move? I punch your abdomen repeatedly. That sounds more like a fighting hey, anime than a magical girl thing. How are you doing? Iva, is that? It is similar to the Chikara we saw in the Wink Sink. Is it? The page turned. That picture book might have some info. <laughs> Little blue yes, writing. Yes, inspect it. Awesome! The girl was chased through the forest by the wolf. Okay. That's adorable! Find the mystery Kizuna hid away. Okay, Kizuna knows something about Chikara. Following her story might uncover some hidden memories. Interesting. Okay. Can we interact? It's a large picture book. I heard that Kizzy likes picture books and fairy tales and all that. Does this represent her feelings? It is worth a look. <sighs> Well, I guess we read it. Not that there's a lot to read. Writing. Little Blue Riding Hood. Is that the title? Not read? The text below reads, The girl was chased through the forest by the wolf. Oh, okay. Huh? Another picture. This is Blue Riding Hood. Huh? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> we are now back Whoa. in the future. What was that? Something fell. Is that Blue Riding Hood? The stand up comedian dad um, is part of the past arc, so to speak. Um, whatever happened in that part of the game was six years ago, and this is now the present. And we are trying to figure out, since six years ago, the culprit was not caught, um, and how... Well, the other half of the body that was already... <laughs> um, that started this whole case was found in the present, and that started this whole going back to the past, figuring stuff out, and now we are back in the present and have to find the true culprit, although Ryuki already knows who it is, but only in the masked form. So, yeah. Yep, back to the future it is! Did she get the wolf? Oh, a new Someone diary. Out. Let's take a look. The little girl liked blank. She admired blank and blank. Okay. Uh, where did the book go? Ah, oh, there. Okay, I see you. Diary? Does it say anything? It appears to be more of a continuation from the picture book than a diary. Let's read it. It was a little child wearing a blue hood. She rose her fist and bravely scared the wolf away. The girl thanked the blue hooded hero, but she scoffed in return. Can you not walk? Fool. Blue Riding Hood was a little Probably, rude, but, but smiled, she might be sleeping blue in. Blue Riding Hood carried the girl on her back and took her home. The two of them were surprised when they got there. From that day on, Blue Riding Hood was family. What a great introduction! Thank you, big sis. The girl took her hand, but she made a weird face. I'm always happy when she actually gets some sleep. Although it is the middle of the day for her. It's evening for me. Um, oh no, is it morning? Uh, I forgot. 
No, it's somewhat, I think, 11-ish a.m. for her. And she normally doesn't get a lot of sleep, so I'm really happy <laughs> when she gets some. But most of the time she's just busy when she's not here. Or something else happened. Maybe she was just being shy. But in any case, she said, Nice to meet you, with a nod. <laughs> Big Sis always was the courageous one. Ah, the memories. Oh, that's so sweet. Surrounded by sweet snacks. Big what? sis must be that girl she's always talking about. Right. Perhaps she saved her from a dog or something when she was younger. That experience turned into the story of Little Blue Riding Hood. So that picture book was a story of Kizuna's memories. Something happened to the book. Check it out. Two of them never left each other's side. They went to the forest right. together. The two of them never left each other's side. They went to the forest together. Dog world, never heard of it. More new pictures. If I remember, I'm gonna check it out. Thank you. Is it good? The little girl liked fairy tales from a young age. She admired her big sister and black. Do we get more? It's a large picture book. It has different pictures from before. Oh no, I'm Gretel. <laughs> okay. Um. This time it's Hannah and Gretel. It's a little different from the story I know. Below it, Hannah and Gretel found a house made out of candy in the forest. Huh? That's not a house made of candy. That's a witch! Mizuki, there is more witchiness over there. Lots of stuff this time. Let's look. No, okay. Sounds interesting. She admire fairy tales and blank. Okay. What is in there? Oh, we probably can't approach since it's red. A candle in the shape of a witch. Something is suspicious about it. Well, if we go by the actual Hensel and Gretel story, we would have to burn her. Okay, let's leave it for now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alone is quite How boring. Do you feel? Like a kid with no friends. <laughs> oh, poor Ivan. Pick it up. Splash splash water spell. Terp paw slash slash. That's what is written. What could that be? Memorize it, Iba. Splash, splash, water spell. Splash, splash, whatever. The girl made up blank. She would cast them on herself to ward off blank. Enchantments? Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Yeah, I'm trying my best here, okay? There's something here. A piece of paper. Does it say anything? Hot, hot blaze spell. Zibla to to. Hot, hot blaze spell. Think we can use it for something? All right. See you soon. She made up magical words. Ah, oh, okay. Idea. 
Why can't we huh. see it? Okay. Something's there. <laughs> A piece of paper? What does it say? Snack transformation spell. Forma Rans Knack Titans. That is what it says. YouTube has some fun. Maybe you can turn something out of emojis. Should I try it on something? Okay, the girl made up magical words. She would cast them on herself to ward of misfortune. Mm, Alright. Story? A candle. It's a witch shaped candle. Poor Maran's Titans. Seblatoto, right? Skewer that candle and cook it. This is not a barbecue. I will light the fire. Hot, hot blaze spell. Seblatoto. Oh, it lit up. The candle is gone. But look, the witch in the picture book. So the witch candle must be tied to the picture. The witch is gone. Now we have these assorted snacks. No. Huh. Something came out over there. Let's go. Hey, where's my cookie? There's my cookie. That is one humongous cookie. Chip cookie. It must contain at least three days worth of calories. <laughs> if that's enough. Uh, share, right? Who should I share it with? I do not see Kizuna. Maybe you can just pretend. Hmm. It isn't breaking. Maybe it's not a real cookie. That could be the case. Okay. What's what I'm doing? It's a large cook. Uh, all right. Eat it. That cookie in the picture book was partially eaten, right? Try to bite it the same way. I see. That may indeed trigger something. Mm hmm. All right, here I go. Was it slow, Jackie? Another book. You all right there? After money blank, she blank to blank to blank. I'll read it. Father, you liar. How many times have you lied to me? Gretel finally shed a tear. Ever since her mother died, her father has been working all the time. She barely got to spend any time with him. Her father gave her tons of snacks, but Gretel was not happy. Do not worry. I'll beat up any evil doing witches around here. Her father would reassure Gretel after hearing tales of evil witches. But the evil witch was inside Gretel. The witch filled her with sadness and turned her selfish. Her older sister Hannah tried hard to cheer Gretel up, but Gretel's tears didn't stop. Father. Hmm. Oh, her world is breaking down. To the glass slippers. This must be her memories of her father, Richie Chieda. It seems that Kizuna was quite sad. I can kind of relate. Oh, the book changed again. We should take a look. More text. Gretel continued to cry and cry for a long, long time.
God, this time there was no renaming. Hmm? Something happened to the slide. <sighs> she admired fairy tales and saw herself in the main characters. You have about four minutes left. It's fine. But first I need to read the story. It's a large picture book. This one appears to be Cinderella. What? Why is it so expensive? The title is Cinderella. Cinderella. Below that, it says, Cinderella spent a dreamy night with the prince. A castle. And a clock. One of the hands fell. It wasn't a regular picture, I guess. This shorthand. Can we use it for something? Let's hold on to it, just in case. The girl hid one glass slipper in a blank. Blank. Similar how to how blank, okay. The clock is part of the slide. On closer inspection, the hour hand is missing. You're right. Touch it. Let's take the shorthand from earlier and there. It fits perfectly. What's going on? Hmm. Now this is a crazy trick. Kizuna does appear timid, but I suppose she can be expressive at times. I never would have thought. I guess she hides it well. Another change to the picture book. There's a glass slipper. Where should we start? First read the story. After many sad events, she blank. To blank. Blank. large picture book what? Ah, six seconds okay I was about There's to say no Cinderella buried her slippers as a way to confirm their feelings I see to the tree why just do it separating the pair oh okay 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 uh, which one? Ah, oh, okay. Three minutes left, Mizuki. Careful now. Doing my best here. Oh, a time capsule. That's right. It was buried here. A time capsule. Six years ago, Liam proposed to Kizzy. He gave her glass slippers instead of an engagement ring. They agreed that if they felt the same way after six years, yada yada yada. Anyway, they decided to bury the thing here till the time came. I completely forgot about it. But it looks like Kizzy remembered. So inside, there is an engagement... shoe? Just one, though. The other's missing. I wonder if it's around here somewhere. What was Terra slash slash again? It was the water spell, right? Uh, do I close the box? Or wear the shoe? Does it make sense to wear the shoe? Hmm. Let's... Wear it, I guess. Am I even allowed to wear it? It should be fine. 
Just for a bit. Just for a bit, then. Uh, hold it. Never mind. This is important to Kizuna. I should be careful. Okay, let's leave it. It's the entrance to Iowin. I can see a glass slipper inside. The door is closed. Probably locked. Hmm. This... If we know the four-digit code, we can open this. Four digits long, huh? No time to brute force it, I guess. Oh, wait. It has a colon here. Yeah? Interesting. Type number? What four digits should I enter? Damn. No good. Is there a hint somewhere? It has a colon in the middle, so I believe it must indicate a time. Time. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Please hurry. Shush. Concentrating. It's either two or eleven fifty-nine then. Let's try eleven fifty-nine actually. It's the end since she doesn't want what this time to end. Yes. It worked. I had a feeling the time on the clock was the key. Oh, I see an eyeball. A glass slipper. The right one, to be exact. This has got to have some kind of significance. We should hold on to it for now. In a dark place separating the pair, similar to how... Huh? Blank. Okay. Now. A time capsule. Insert shoe. book again the heart separated from the prince oh that's sad big sis found out about cinderella's dream and started panicking cinderella even if someone proposes to you you can't just accept it right away don't answer until you know who they really are wait five or six years this was her advice to Cinderella. Big Sis was worried about her naive little sister. Cinderella thought it was a bit much, but she smiled. If I ever meet a person that important to me, I will introduce them to my big sister first. It would be so much fun to share a meal together. And so, Cinderella dreamed another dream. I received those wonderful slippers, but I cannot dance anymore. You won't be able to dance in them anyway. I cannot be his princess. What should I do? Big sis, Kizzy. I have two more locks and almost no time. Well, I did well, right? Well, the dream is over. Is that the bell? The clock moved. Midnight. The time her spell wears off. What's going on? No more. Show me no more. Let me hear no more. I don't want this anymore. The frog prince? It stopped. 
the spell wore off. Kizuna must feel that she can no longer be a princess. What should we do? Kizuna doesn't want to look anymore. I don't want her to suffer, but we have to keep going. Alright. After many sad events, she blank to not make things worse. Fuck. Okay. Let's kiss the frog prince. The picture of the frog with the crown. Wasn't there a clock here earlier? Why did it change? I think it might be hidden. Can I? I can't remember what the former Ransnak Titon is for. <laughs> Let's try All it, right. I guess. Let's turn this frog into a fritter. Snack transformation spell! Form a Ransnak Titans! Sad. Huh? Nothing is happening. Maybe it tastes different. Can you give it a lick? Wow! Mmm, that's sweet. No other effect, though. Darn. Sad. I was kind of hoping for the frog prince and to kiss the picture him. picture book is closed and covered in thorns. Kizuna must have sealed her heart away. I can see the cover through the thorns. What's it say? Diary. Hmm. Do we go for former the translate the transformation spell again? Hmm. I don't think we will be able to just <gasps> remove the thorns. Maybe we can turn it into a snack. Snack transformation spell. Forma Ren's Knack Titans! It worked. It looks the same. Try eating it. How is it? Hmm, nope. I only taste blood. Only a minute left. Well... <laughs> Is there anything else we can interact with? It's a picture of the frog. Huh? What is that? Oh, is that the... Does it say something? Yes, another spell. Or a counter spell to be precise. Transformation Dispel. Former Rand's Titan Sid. A transformation dispel. Was anything transformed? Yes, the Maybe frog. Maybe you can use it on that thing. Okay. I don't think I have it's a enough. Picture. Let's go! Transformation dispel! Former Rand's Titan Sid! Is this the rudder of a ship? Or the wheel part of a spinning wheel? Right, the Thorn Princess. This wheel has the numbers 1 through 12 on it. It's like a clock. Hmm. Mizuki, you have less than 30 seconds. It's the wheel part of a spinning wheel. Oof. Does it matter? Let's say count it clockwise. The princess sleeps when she is pierced by the needle on the spinning wheel. Should I not touch it? We're practically sleeping already. Just do it. You're not taking this very seriously. makes the ground move. Just like the clock from earlier, it's connected to the floor here. 
After many sad events, she stopped time in her heart to not make things worse, to not lose anything else. <sighs> Mizuki, you're out of time. It's the week. Okay, doesn't matter. We are not gonna to make it. Clock, maybe we can change the time. So if we turn it clockwise, we can get new information. Now it's actually moving. Okay, makes total sense. I popped the balloon. Okay. Now we can check the swings. Yeah, no, we can't. The Thorn Princess continued to sleep. She slept to avoid facing her sadness. She slept trapped by terrible memories she did not want to be hurt by them anymore no need to cry and shy away anymore but but why why do i keep waking up why do i keep remembering it my chest aches my heart breaks with yours never again Warren's awakening mm. I never knew this is how she felt. Any more of this could leave her hurt. Should we continue, Mizuki? It would be worse to leave her like this. Something's weighing on Kizzy's heart, and I want to take that burden away. She's one of my best friends. I understand. I believe in you, Mizuki. Her memories with her loving big sister was what kept her inspired. Yep. Mizuki, what? Oh, Kizzy. Okay. Um, I don't know if restarting. Hmm, where did I make the most mistakes? I think it's actually better to start from the second lock. I don't think I made too many mistakes there, but this time discrepancy is quite huge. Yes. This must be. You have about four minutes left. It's a large. Great. Yep. Okay. The clock. Attach. Okay. Now, let's go for... This one. What four digits should I enter? Yep, yep. Take it to the time capsule. Three minutes left, Mizuki. Careful now. Insert shoe. Read it. Yes, way better time wise. I never knew 
this is how she felt. Any more of this could leave her hurt. I understand. I believe in you, Mizuki. Okay. I want to stay together. Kizuna? You said she will be with me forever. Is this when she and her older sister got split up? But, please. Fine. Will you at least play a game with me? Remember how we used to kick our slippers up? You used to beat me all the time, but now I... If I win, please stay. Please. The rules are simple. Kick the shoe further to win. And just like we used to, it will be best of three. Shall I go first? Yeah, let's do this. Play a shoe toss game with Kizuna three times. Win twice to get the victory. Tilt the left stick in the direction of the swing to charge up the gorge. Maintain a power above the gorge hurdle. When the remaining time hits zero, you will kick your shoe up. The shoe will travel the distance of the gorge. Okay. Okay, charge swing. Hey. Good job, Iba. Big sis. So you want to leave me? N no, you've got it all wrong. What should I do, Mizuki? Maybe it's better if you don't win? She's an nice turn. Why isn't it swinging? Hello? Iva, come on. This is my first time on a swing. Oh, is that all, Big Sis? <laughs> She's a must try. Okay, she's going all out. Can I even beat that? What? What? Uh, I lost. Maybe it was better for Kizzy. You promised! Please! Don't leave! Big sis, what should we do today? You want to read the picture book together? Big sis, what should we do today? Oh no, the conversation is looping. We have to win. Yeah. Kizuna, let's play again. physical prowess triumphs again <laughs> you really do not like me anymore
<laughs> we would have won after Aren't the you two. This a little too much? <laughs> Witness me, Mizuki. Observe my perfect control. The thorns. I suppose there is no beating you, Nixus. Separation. Sis, why did you go? Why did you leave me behind? Faria, I cannot dance anymore or even stand next to him. Lie, he and I has true love vanished. This memory. It must be the memory hidden away deep in Kizuna's heart. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horadori's research facility. What? This is what Kizuna was hiding. But was it her father's Rechi? Rechi Chieda. It's Kizuna's father's diary. Inside the thorns. Overflow the emotion. And where I end where I began, okay? During the sink, I made a surprising discovery written in Kizuna's dad's uh, journal. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horador Research Facility. And so Kizuna and I came to Iron. Kizzy, is this? Yes. The diary that was in the chairman's office. Okay, first, <laughs> I want to see my evaluation actually. How good am I doing? B3! Ooh, even further. Okay, am I getting S rank already? No? Sad. Sanity. Okay. Kizuna. What were you looking for at Horador Institute? This morning, Father asked me to look for something in the office. I accidentally knocked some books off the shelf, and I saw this. When it fell to the ground, this page was open, face up. I knew I should not have read it. I regretted it immediately. Terrible things were written there. Things about a girl whose genes were forcibly rewritten. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I think it would be best if you read this. I read the diary that Kizzy handed to me. What it said was shocking. It was a girl, a child whose DNA was rewritten. Chikari Horadori performed this task himself. The goal was to find a cure for aging, but the results were unexpected. The child had superhuman athletic abilities, strength, endurance, agility. We were all well beyond that of normal adults. And those abilities only grew as she got older. This child was raised away from the other kids at Iowen. When she was three, she was adopted. That child's name was... Mizuki. Mizuki. 
the family name was Okiura. Mizuki, I'm genetically modified. But what about Daddy and Mom? They weren't my real parents. I do wonder, though, you start remembering stuff from... Mm, okay, more so five, but you can remember stuff that happened when you were three. <sighs> so, since it is such a traumatic incident... No way. Chikara's left half. The report started early this morning around sunrise. A body was found in Yoyogi Park. Yoyagi Park. It looks to be sliced in half. Aiba and I bolted out of the house and came here as fast as we could. Mizuki, are you okay? Yeah. It's not the first time I've seen a dead body. That is not what I am referring to. You hardly got any sleep last night. You must be mentally exhausted. No, I suppose that is perfectly understandable. Anyone in a similar situation would... It's fine. That's that, this is this. Let's just focus on the investigation. Where's where you okay here? The body is Chikara's. If we can figure out more about this case, we can figure out other things. Okay, Chikara. Before inspecting the body, we should question the people around. Uh. Okay, Ryuki. How are you mentally? No way. Mm, stuck in the past. But he seems a bit more here. Mentally present, so to speak. Okay, uh, are you okay? Huh? What? Like, mentally. You know. I'm fine. I'm more worried about you. You okay? What are you talking about? You seem kind of down. N no, I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. Why are you oh, here? Did you think I came here to play frisbee? I came after I heard about what happened. I need to solve this case. It's my destiny. The investigation is at a standstill. Honestly, things aren't looking good. But that's no reason to abandon this case. Mr. Date wouldn't want me to just give up. He told me something. Ryuki, you have the potential to become our ace at Abyss. I believe in you. And I need to live up to those words. I... I need to arrest Terra with my own hands. What's wrong? Well, thinking about what happened six years ago, how could this happen? Anyway, that half of a body is definitely Chikara's. I saw Chikara's right half at Seki Bahai. This is the other half. Hmm. Okay, detective. Any oh, leads? Nothing in particular. Park cameras didn't pick up anyone suspicious. Means no witnesses. We got nothing. Hmm. Who fell? Someone who was jogging early in the morning. He said when he found the body, he didn't see anyone else around. He's getting interrogated back at HQ right now. I'm sure he's got nothing more to offer, though. Okay, opinion. I never thought Horidori's left half would be found like this. This is downright supernatural. I don't get it at all. It's a detective. It's not the detective, but a. Mizuki, search here later. Focus on taking statements for now. Okay, Aiba. I need you into oh, DNA results came back already. There's no doubt this body is Chikara Horidori's. Estimated time of death is 2.11 at 8 p.m. Nothing on his person. The 
I want to solve this case so bad. It has to be me. Well, see ya. See ya. I wonder if Ryuki is okay. He seemed yeah. a little panicky. Yes. But we shouldn't worry about him right now. We should search the area, Mizuki. Maybe we can find some sort of clue. Yeah, got it. <sighs> Let us begin. We should search this area. On it. Virtual reality activation. We're not even going to look at the corpse. There are benches across the fountain. You call that benches? Okay, I guess there are some benches. Okay. It's a modern bench. Why are we looking at benches? Hello, somebody tell me. A door. This used to be the machine room. It was used to house the pump that regulated the flow of the fountain. But records indicate it is no longer in use. So there could be something in it? A balloon? Why is there a balloon in there? It looks like there's something there. We should take a look. You maybe want to be more careful, no? A balloon? It seems to be. It's two colors. Half is red and the other half is blue. There's something inside. Oh, the no colors of the game. We can see inside. Mizuki, try popping it. On it! Maybe be a bit more careful. You do not know what... Was used to blow it up. Two X's? Or perhaps two pairs of intersecting arrows? Hmm. Hmm. Reality, I guess. So, whatever happens in here. It is Chikara Horadori's left side. It is cut at the molecular level. There are no other wounds to the body. This must be the cause of death. It is safe to presume the culprit is the same. Terror. This should be clear, but this is almost definitely not the murder scene. There are no traces of blood anywhere. It was the time frozen? Of to what the inspector told us. To the Last surface? Night, around 8 o'clock on the 11th. But why? Chikara was killed around 8 p.m. A stone monument. Mizuki, check the backside as well. Will do, ma'am. The uh, stone, the body's on the other side. Okay, what? Why? What is this? RL. Letters inside the body? There are metal really? plates embedded into the corpse. They appear to be alphabetic letters. R L E. That seems to be the case. Hmm. Okay. Thermal. A E F R L E R A E F. See? Why can't I go up there? Hello? Mizuki, just. What is this? A mixture of iron powder, activated carbon, and saline solution. The contents of a disposable hand warmer. Something is written here. It is emitting heat. If you use thermo mode, 
It says A-E-F. Okay. Those guys are also warm. Anything else? Why is the balloon warm? Okay, what else am I missing? I'm apparently missing something since this is not ending. We looked at that stupid bunch already. Oh, okay. The vending machine is important. It's an free vending machine. Oh. Beer. Okay. Al free. We have the. <gasps> what do you think, Mizuki? Letters on the body in the monument, and the piece of paper in the balloon. Terror is just playing with us. He does seem to be taunting us, perhaps challenging us. It is certain that the culprit must have planted these clues. Mizuki, you need to solve this. You can do it. Yeah. I'll do my best. Those are the clues we have so far. The letters A E F on the monument, the letters R L E inside the body, and the piece of paper with the two pairs of intersecting arrows. Do you know what this could mean? Yep. Think, Mizuki. Should be related to that. Um, where was the vending machine? Why are we here? And why is there an extra vending machine just for Alfrey? It's Some... here. Correct. The Alfrey vending machine. Terror must have led us to this spot. So, is the message search the Alfrey? I suppose so. And let's get right to it. Wait, what are you going to do, exactly? I'm going to buy an all-free. But you cannot. You are only 18. But this is non-alcoholic beer. Well, it is true that it is technically legal for a minor to purchase non-alcoholic beer. But you have to understand the social and cultural ramifications. So what do you want me to do? She would have been able to buy Alfrey in Germany since two years ago. Well, okay, it, since it's non-alcoholic, I'm not sure, but if it was real beer... Uh, let's ask the inspector. Well, if we don't have any other options, let's ask the inspector. I see. I can make an exception. Hey, I'm Inspector Man! Nice to meet ya! What's going on here? This is a VR environment. The actual inspector is not present. So what up? You need something? Uh, I was gonna ask for a favor, but... Hold it! This footage is weak. Weak? It will be too short. What's too short? My very important film! In any case, it is time to roll cameras. No rehearsals. Here we go. Ready? Action! But this part... Oh, this part is easy. You just have to pop, pop. What are you talking about? I get it, I get it. You want me to buy one? Yeah, could you? Absolutely! Nod. Okay. Wait, this isn't all free. Open it. Oh. This world is a game and I want to play with you. I 
imitated the same thing Terra did in the VR space. Well, not exactly the same, but close enough. As a result, the same can came out of the Alfrey wending machine. I opened it and found a piece of paper. This world is a game, and I want to play with you. If you win, I'll give you a nice hint. I placed three balloons in random places around Tokyo. The balloons are red and blue. Look for them. Terra. A challenge from Terra. Bring it on. I'm up for any challenge. Do you realize how big Tokyo is? How are you going to search for them? Isn't it obvious? No. I'll do it on foot. Okay. We don't get all... Uh, what is it? 20-ish locations to check out? Sure. By foot. Maybe get someone else to go. <laughs> Fix it. Stay. Leon, what are you doing here? Oh, it's you. What happened? Uh, what happened to your voice? About me. What's with your voice? It's a long fucking story. What do you want? I wanted to ask you something. Is it okay that I'm here for this? Yeah, it's fine. The more information, the better. I told them that Chikara's left side was found in the park and that Terra left a message taunting me with a balloon search challenge. How about that? Blue and red balloons. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I need to take a short break.
All right. Let's talk to them. Oops. That mouse out of the picture. Boy. Moma. Wink sink. Moma, I. So it's the. Oh, sweet flower. You shouldn't fall in love with a rogue like me. It is the color, okay. Moma, I can't help. You're only going down a road of pain and regret. No, that's not true. As long as I have you by my side. Person. Moma. Not creepy at all. No, no. Okay, what's with your voice? Although we already know. This is a vochlocho. A what? A voice changing lock choker. It's a necklace thing that can change your voice. If I wear this, I can have the perfect voice. The perfect voice? So you actually want to sound like that? No! You got it all wrong! Uh, this was a gift! It came preset like this! Sure. Who gave it to you? Shinpei! He gave it to me yesterday! He said it was a thank you gift! I have analyzed the voice. The voice he is using now is that of Iris Sagan. Yeah, I know. Right. I knew I recognized it. Mama and Shinpei are hardcore ASAT fans. Or perhaps I should say, Tessa fans. So Chimpei gave him that Boch Locho with Iris's voice set as the default? It seems that way. What a creep. I agree. Uh, did you not watch the... Wink Sink? Boch Loco is a product sold on the dark web. Use a PC to upload someone's voice to analyze their voice profile. Input that information and put the vo vochlocho on your neck. This allows for small electric signals to alter the voice. By the way, I'm good at voices too. That's great, Iva. Okay, can you take it off? The thing about that is, I lost the key. How? into the booze here at the office last night with this thing on so you were playing around with it the more details he gives the creepier he sounds you oh God, guys watch the wing thing. sink with I me I somewhere safe or something but i couldn't remember so that's why he called on my services as a lockpick to help i've known Leon for years i know what he can do <laughs> thanks but those are days i would rather forget I never will. Do you have any idea how much money you made me? I'm sure you know this already, but this guy here? That's in the past. I've gone clean. Anyway, Leon, get this thing off me. I got shit to do today. <laughs> Why don't we leave it on for a bit? Let me hear that cute voice a little longer. Burn it, hell. Okay, have you seen a balloon anywhere? I haven't seen any. There are supposed to be three balloons. You haven't heard about any of them being spotted? Sorry, I got nothing. Damn. We know terror is abnormal. I figured since you're abnormal too, maybe you'd have an idea. I'm not abnormal. I'm the most normal. When he raises his voice like that, it is not what I would call convincing. Yep. Ugh, stop with that occult crap. I don't like it one bit. I don't get it, and I don't like it. The only thing I can tell you is that I have no idea. Sure. Can we use... Um... I hacked into it. There is one item in the search history. How to defeat Mammal. What? Oh, they play Shuren. Wait, how do you need help beating Mammal? <laughs> Can I find the key for that voice changer? Or was that not a thing? Did they change the dragon here? 
probably after we destroyed the ball of the dragon. There's a tiger rug on the floor. Okay, no, it's not creepy at all. Do not panic if you accidentally open a pawn side while you're on the train. Okay. Do re mi. So far. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Locker. Door. More lockers. Come on, let me find the stupid key. It's this month. Doubt on the whiteboard. Pantomime at the reform school. Certificates. A gang member's desk. There are all sorts of things on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess we. Oh. Me neither. Um, okay, yeah. Don't think we can find. Why is the mouse extra? Okay, Leon. Why are you here? Oh, wait, you weren't listening just now. I was. Here to take the votes Lojo off. Yeah, well, you could have done that already. Have you seen the balloon? Uh -oh. I saw one at Iowan earlier. The orphanage? Yeah, it was tied to a tree. I mean, I didn't get a good look at it. It was just out of the corner of my eye. Thanks, I'll go check it out. But why were you there? I was there to see my beautiful princess. Okay, about the balloons. Balloons, huh? I wish I could float like a balloon. Okay. Uh, that's a bizarre situation. I don't really know what happened. But I will say this. He got what was coming to him. You know that I was a janitor at Horadori Institute, right? Yeah. Director Horadori and I talked. I heard a bunch of rumors. Rumors? It would take a while to explain, so I'd rather tell you later. But... Mizuki, I admit I am curious as well. However... Right, we need to focus on the balloons. But do we have a time limit on the balloons? I don't think so. Hey, Leah! Please! Can you get this thing off me already? The... Uh, uh, Joker! Finally. Peace and quiet. What's going on? Moma is losing circulation to his brain. The Choker must be preventing blood flow. Leanne, please! Yeah, got it. Ugh, this old geezer. His breath stinks. That's not the concern right now. This is life or death. I can't help it. My sense of smell is better than a giant pouched rat. What the hell kind of animal is that? Couldn't you have just said dog? Mizuki, look for the key. I tried key. earlier. The key that will unlock the choker. I thought I had put it someplace safe or something, but I couldn't remember. Is that a hidden safe? It appears to be. There's an ASAP figure and, and the key. There it is. It's the key. Yes, I am sure it is. But why does he have an ASAP figure? Mizuki, focus! After all that... You saved me. Sorry about all the ruckus. Thanks. You should mm -hmm. thank Leon. He's the one who opened the safe. Haha. <laughs> Master of Unlocking at your service. Now nah, hold on. I don't make sense. Wouldn't picking open the choker be easier than picking the safe? Eh, whatever. Mizuki, we need to continue our investigation. Couldn't right. we have we just to let him die? Oh, I have an idea. Hey, Moma, can I borrow your vote? 
approach, Loto. Yeah, sure. You saved my life. I owe you one. Thanks, Homa. Hmm. What are we gonna use it on? Okay, whatever. Um, let's work our way down. What? The thing's actually closed for once? No balloons here. People may have information. Yeah. Good idea. I'll ask her. Hmm. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Chikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park, right? Wow, information gets to you fast. I know when to make things quick and when to take my time. Sure. <laughs> well, Mama. I've got a riddle for you. If you get it right, drinks on me. What happens when you get rough with a fuzzy navel? Do I want to know? It spills, honey. Uh, I don't get it. Okay, and information. Oh, yeah, I have a little nugget of information regarding Horadori. You have dirt on Chikara? The most pungent of dirt always makes its way to my nose. So what information do you have? Chikara was a devoted believer of a new religion called the Order of Percent. And their dirt is quite fragrant indeed. Anyway, he really believed in the simulation theory. The Order of Percent is a form of the creator. The one who is the one creating this world. They intentionally amend their memories so they could forge through this world of lies. Uh, yes. Sure. What was that? Part of their new scripture, I suppose. Smells fishy if you ask me. No fishier than you. What's the sign of percent? That I don't know. Hey, okay, how are you doing? It has to do with the case. You know, the percent sign is two circles separated by a line. If you ask me how that's significant, I couldn't tell you. But this order you missed of them. percent must be involved in all this somehow. Okay. That crystal ball singular? Oh, these are my mighty balls. After I plucked these out, I filled them with silicone. Oh, that's why there are two. She is clearly joking. <laughs> I'm doing all right, thanks for asking. I told Mama about the challenge. Hey, have you seen any red and blue balloons? I haven't, but... I can ask the Milky Balls! Go ahead. Oh, mighty Balls, who is the biggest liar in the world? Well, Mama is. It's a tear here! What? Oh, absolutely right. What is with well, that? True, true, I who guess. Who cares about that? That is totally unrelated. Sorry, that was my heart screaming out to be heard. I don't need to hear your heart screaming right now. <clears throat> now. Let's try this for real. Oh, balls, the great and powerful, please find something for me. Where are the red and blue balloons? You should go to the Ikume <laughs> Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. You will find it there. Okay, thanks, Mama. But I will agree with you on the uh, tear strip, tear strip part. They suck. Well, I guess we should head to Ikume Shrine. You actually believed her? Not necessarily, but it's something. 
something, huh? Thanks, Mama. So that far, she was always right. Know, okay, that, that wasn't Ryuki's but if it did, that's great. story, I guess. Whenever. I'll be waiting. Oh, did you finally calm down, Jackson? Bless you. Again. No balloons here. No, but there is someone who looks like they might give out balloons. <laughs> It's Kenny. Perhaps he knows something. What a coincidence running into you here. What's up? Um, well... Now I wonder how Iba would have reacted to, um... Shoma's father's comedy so skits. might lead to a break in the case. And finding them would help with arresting the culprit. Probably. She seems to have more of a dry humor instead of Thomas' um, strange one. I do not know how to classify the comedy that Shoma's dad is making. <laughs> It's on the childish side and anecdotal, uh, but so not funny. Oh well, Ken. Why are this you is my here? Spot. I came to look at the ocean. Looking at the horizon really calms me down. How long have you been here? It's quite it's foggy in the morning. Don't you need to open for lunch today? No, I don't really feel up for it today. I'll open it for dinner only. Shouldn't you take running your restaurant a little more seriously? But I'm exactly that. Serious. I don't want to serve food to my customers when I'm not at my best. Cooking is a serious affair. True. I yeah. don't want to be like Oto. Abstract cooking some half-assed meals. <laughs> Gen, are you Gen Z? Gen Z, as I prefer to say. That's a very millennial to Gen Z kind of outlook on things. Um, okay. Shikara's left side. Well, ringing any bells? Mizuki, look. What is this? As you can tell, his temperature is rising rapidly. Oh no. But why? I'm thinking I'm horny. You don't have the sex appeal for that, Mizuki. Oh, well, I am not going to take that <laughs> <laughs> The point is, is agitated. Though I cannot determine exactly why. I was savage. No savage, Iva, but I do agree he's six years older it would be strange to find her attractive but then again we have ota and moma who are attracted to uh, a six and 26 i don't know years younger person from when she was a minor <laughs> I still don't like it. Okay, um... Say, so tell me more. Winksing! Eh, 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 oops. Picked mm -hmm. up. What was picked up? But, uh... Again... Be more specific. Fine, uh, if you say so. What was that? That didn't it help at all. Like was talking to someone. Who? Unknown. 
Hmm, okay. Have you seen any balloons? Oh, no, I, I don't know about any balloons. Got it. Sorry I can't be of any help. No, it's no, fine. You don't have to apologize. He's fine, he's fine, he's there fine. There is something off about Ken. Yeah, he's not his usual self. Do you think he's a different person? Nah. Meaning... Someone else wearing a Gen mask. Well, not that that is impossible, but... Nope. It can't be. Gen... Is his face even more deformed than it was before? What is it? Why are you staring at me? Izuki, why do you look so dead? No, it's okay. I can tell what you're thinking. You don't think my face is monstrous, do you? No. I felt this way before. That touch. From who? I was born with a crooked skeleton. My muscles and my skin are different from regular people. I got picked on since I was a kid. People hated me, insulted me, threw rocks, spit on me. That was just life. Normal. But she. Aren't you afraid? Not at all. Aren't I disgusting? No. Why should you be? And I know that your heart is more pure than anyone else. That's why I love you, Gen. That warm heart of yours, too. The way you look. All of it. Amame. I thought I wink sinking. Born, right? Uh, took a lot, a lot of energy. That's why we wouldn't wink sink two times in a row before and now we're just randomly wink sinking yes i know it was important in a way but huh but i wasn't supposed to look like this this was a result of genome experiments in the name of youth and eternal life at the hands of chikara horadori mm. no Yes. You asked me about him earlier. That's why I hesitated to answer. I couldn't say anything. The terrible memories. I'm sorry I had to tell you all of this. You can forget it, really. Well, see ya. Oh, poor baby. Izuki, should you not pursue him? He knows about Chikara. I know, but I gotta get my head straight. Can you give me some time? What about the balloons? Yeah, I'll still look, but... There's a lot of thoughts I have to keep in my head now. Understandable. Mises and the pattern, so why? Why is there a police officer here? Good Unknown. question. But I see a balloon over there. You do? But it's only red. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. This isn't one of Terror's balloons. I suppose not. This is all red. Yeah, sorry to say, it's not the real deal. Boss. Iba told me about Terror's challenge. <sighs> he thinks he can play with us like this. 
Well, what are you doing here? I got called here because of a particularly troublesome co-worker. Who? Ryuki. Ryuki. He was too gung-ho and ended up making a huge mistake. Ryuki found out about the whole balloon thing from Tama. He came to this amusement park to investigate. Some part-timer was working here, dressed up in an Adarabic costume. He was apparently tying balloons to the fence. When Ryuki saw that... Stop right there! He shouted at him to get his attention, but I guess the guy didn't hear. There was a paper bag at the mascot's feet. Later, we found out it had scissors in it for cutting the strings of the balloons. But when the guy reached down into the bag, Ryuki must have thought it was a weapon. No. He shot him? Yeah. A police officer shooting at a civilian. It's unprecedented. And this is going to sure. be a real scandal. That's why I keep telling you, if you know that he's not mentally in a right place, you should not let him have his weapon or access to any police facility he should be on permanent leave until he is considered fine it doesn't make sense to leave him in the um special ops police department whatever that abyss is as an alcoholic and someone that has mental issues and both of those things are known sure you can't just well get him fired well you can but would probably not sit well with either one of them and since he has that ai ball he would still have access to all police activities unless you take I uh, tama back I don't know. We should get him professional help. And only after he is deemed fit, he should be able to walk around with a weapon. Okay. That's for a race. Yes. You're only 18. What do you need more money for? I've had my eye on a bunch of stuff. Clothes, handbags, grenades, etc. You really think now is the best time to be asking me for a raise? Talk to me after the case. Sure. Chikara's left off. It's inconceivable. It's like washing your bra without putting it in the net. I would say it's fairly more inconceivable than that. But I don't push, uh, put my bra in a net. I don't even own a washing net for bras and socks and underwear <laughs> why should i <laughs> well with balloons i don't think terror's balloons are here how are you doing on your end find any yet nope haven't found any yet hmm slacking off on the job huh i know oh, the lo on. location what of two it's not like I'm looking for a lost TV remote in my couch or something. Sure, sure. Okay, can we About the go? Shooting. Wink sick. I cannot apologize enough. This was my mistake. I wasn't paying enough attention. Cool, that's a mistake. Yeah. Dismissal, but... He's young and inexperienced, but he's an excellent agent. Can we please reconsider? That's surprising. I didn't expect that coming from boss. Of course, that may not be literally what was said. All that was in a dream, after all. Still. 
dismissal might be a bit too harsh, but you should not leave him to go out into the public with a weapon in his mental state. It might have gotten a bit better, but he is in no mental f condition to be out in public. This is not just you overlooking something. This is straight up dangerous. But okay, where's Ryoki now? Getting interrogated. No Just shit, Charlotte. Do anything stupid. Oh, did that end the conversation? No, I wasn't done yet. <sighs> I need to clean up this mess. Then yell at some people. Then do my best brown nosing. I've got a long day of diplomacy ahead of me, so I'm gonna get going. Good luck with the rest of the investigation. I wanted to know more. No. Is Ryuki gonna be okay? No. There is no point in thinking about him now. Let's go, Mizuki. Yeah. Mm. Okay, here can we shrine? Trip, trip, trip. I don't see any balloons. Did you lie to me, Mama? Maybe in the shrine? You see? No balloons here. But Mama said... You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. I trust her mystical precognition as far as I can throw her. <laughs> huh. What's the fruit of immortality anyway? Likely the Tokijiku no Kaku. You know it? Yes. I have heard of it before. It is said that eating it will grant you youth and eternal life. Many believe it is a Tachibana orange. It is an object of worship at this shrine. Wow. The fruit of immortality. Well, it's a shrine. Uh, the Shimen. Nava? Hey, wait! There it is! There it is! The balloon! You are correct. This is a red and blue balloon. See, I told you! How did Mama know? Doesn't matter to me. It should. Let's try popping it. It looks like there's something in there. Like the one at Yoyagi Park. Hmm. Let's do it. Can't believe that Iba just lets her smash the balloon. What does it say on the back? Indig. I am three and indig. Hmm. We cannot currently decode this message. We need to find all three balloons. Okay. Island Garden. Balloon. What is it, Mizuki? Nothing. Just this really takes me back. But now's not the time for reminiscing. We need to find the balloons. Um. Ah? Uh, what ah? Uh? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> eh... Inside? Kids, tell me where the balloons are. And you might survive. Eh?
What? Where are those balloons supposed to be? Am I just blind? There was something. Something popped up. Three. Castle. Clock. Yeah. It would be nice if we could move around instead of being fixed in one place, but seriously, there are no balloons here. green there was something green just now when oh the sandbox eh eh there's something red and blue There is nothing here. Did it not load in for me? Which I don't think, but... After Little Nightmares 2, I... Oh, wow, now I see it. Oh. Okay. Whoa, over there. No doubt about it. That is one of Terra's balloons. Just like Leon said. But it is high out of reach. It's fine. I got it. You gonna jump? Where's the card? Ah, oh, there. There it comes. Two. Ah. Why did you pop it in midair? Don't sweat the details. Well, in any case, you did reveal what was inside the balloon. Yeah. It says two. And on the back? Unra. No way. Terror is a pervert. What? Unra? Clearly it's a code for undergarments. <laughs> Terror is a panty thief. The one at the shrine said three. And on the back it said ended. It is still indecipherable to me. There's one more bloom left. Hmm. Where is it supposed to be? Afterward? I asked the workers and the children if anyone saw someone tying the balloon to the tree. But it was no good. No one saw anything. Ivan and I left. Hello. What are you it's doing nurse. here? Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Because that's what mom and dad named me. What? She appears to be in a theater group or something. Yikes. Well, let's be nice. Okay. Are you here about Chikara? I saw in the news that a corpse was found. That makes the whole thing even more baffling. What do you mean? I had always thought Jin Furaway's disease had something to do with his murder. He had half-body tumors. 
It's a rare disease that causes tumors to develop only on one half of the body. Organs, skin, bones. I don't remember which side of the body it was for him, but I always thought his murder had to do with the disease somehow. But Chikara doesn't fit into that at all. I remember. Chikara's right side that was found at Sakiba High had all the innards removed. That wasn't reported by the press. Hmm. But how does it all fit together? Whatever the case, the nurse may have just given us a vital clue. Hmm. Okay, why are you here? One of the children here is cared for at our hospital, but they didn't want to come to the hospital today. So I came here to attend to them. Very nice of you. I didn't see anyone. I just got here moments ago. I see. If no one saw them, they must have snuck in at night. The security here is pretty bad. It hasn't improved any over the years. But that is how Mr. Chieda wants it. This isn't a prison. We don't need cameras. Oh, if only we did. That awful incident all those years ago could have been avoided. What incident? The missing child. I'm sure you've heard of a child going missing from Ion. Uru Somazuki, a six-year-old, went missing one day. Whether it was kidnapping or an accident, no one has any clue. And he still has not been found. Oh. It was a distressing event. If they had cameras, maybe it could have been prevented. Even after that tragedy, Mr. Chieda still refuses to upgrade the security around here. I don't know what he's thinking. Nothing. Setting up cameras would cost There's money. Maintaining about. them as well. We need to find all the balloons. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. And since nothing else happened... What? Is that even allowed? After that, I went to different places around the city. that kind of sturdy body. Mizuki, it's from boss. Crap. What's up? I will connect you. Hey Mizuki, I got a call from HQ. There was a report of someone spotting a balloon in the warehouse district in Ariake. Can you head there right away? Wait, you were wait. there though, before. I was there already. I didn't see any balloons. You must have missed it. They said they saw it around 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m.? Anyway, I'm counting on you. If the balloon was there at 8.30 a.m. And it was gone by the time we got there. That must mean... Someone took it. But who would have done that? Could it be? Dan? Hey, you can't just barge into the kitchen like that. Just listen, please. Gen, are you hiding something from me? Uh-oh, did you find out I've been using frog meat? Cut the shit. I'm searching your place. Stop, hey, come on. My customers are going to be freaked out if they see you rummaging around here. You can't be touching things in the kitchen. It's unsanitary. And on top of that, boy, I hate to have to ask this, but do you have a warrant? Mizuki. I know. There's a way to search without touching anything. Right. Oh, nothing here.
What is this? Why did you lie? Actually, I don't really care why right now. I need you to answer me. There should have been a piece of paper in the balloon. Where is it? Are you really not gonna tell me? Then you're coming with me. Or I can have the cops bust in here and close you down for the day to search every inch of this place. Which do you prefer? Okay. Does Why he have to remove the mask? That's what I'm going to sink into him to find out. Well, you may not discover exactly why during the sink. But I can still get valuable information. Ah, you mean what the piece of paper in the balloon said? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Mizuki, before you start, I'll say one thing. I know. I can only stay insomnium for six minutes. I've heard it so many times I can hear it in my sleep. Well, mm. technically... Let's just get started. Okay. Ready? Sure. And... Let's begin. <gasps> This is Brahmin. This is a small place. Finding what we need should go quick. No. I would not be so sure. You can never anticipate what might happen. Oh, there's an eyeball. Anyway, what is that you're doing there? Salmon. I am imitating the rugged salmon of the Sea of Okotsk. But why? We are here to investigate Gen. He has been acting fishy lately. Oh. Ha ha, very clever. Shall we begin? So we're just not gonna acknowledge that, huh? Somnium Storm! Activate! Okay, find the last clue Gen is hiding. Gen definitely knows something about the last clue. Where it was hidden, what was written on it. Find out the critical information. Guess we should look around the place first. Okay. Okay. But I think we're gonna leave that for next time again. <laughs> Kind of a nice start into the game to start with the Somnium. So, yeah, that's what we shall do. <laughs> they did a bit better with the extra information this time around with that strange voice thingy it was short it was interesting it wasn't just here is this theory and it goes like this but it was like they played off of each other so it was okay um and well it wasn't too much uh, um, exposition so <laughs> it's fine but yeah it it definitely isn't the greatest thing that could happen and uh, sorry i lost i lost my <laughs> the the exposition part um right i have nothing to add my brain is Right, right now, I have no idea why I actually slept well, but 
let's see what tomorrow brings. Oh. Oh, what Gen knows and what he'll add to this overall Horadori Institute thing that's going on in the background. Maybe we'll meet with some people that can tell, uh, can tell us more about Mizuki's uh, condition. But yeah, we shall see. I hope you have a re bleh, great rest of the day. Take care. Bye bye.